What's going on, Scorpio gang, gang, gang? Hope all is well with you guys. To my returning OG subscribers, what's poppin', what's good? To my newly subscribed, hey y'all, thank you for allowing the channel to continue to grow. I really do appreciate that. To my members only community, it goes without saying, I love, love, love you guys to the moon and back, you know that. This is always a Scorpio affair, sun, moon rising, Venus, north node. Anywhere you have Scorpio placements in your chart, grab your boo, your hookah, your blunt, your spliff, your gin, your juice, whatever it takes, Scorpio, to tap into these energies like we always do around about this time. Let those ads play for at least a minute so your girl can get all the credit from YouTube. I'm currently not offering personal readings. Okay. Anything else you need to know is in the description box below. All right, Scorpio, let's get into this. I keep hearing why, 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 how come, why, how come. Somebody may be taught like that that's in your energy. Feels like everything you're do, doing right now is being questioned, especially by loved ones, your spouse, your significant other. Yeah, on the bottom of the deck, potency is your overall energy here. So, yeah, I feel like, <laughs> and the, the um, animal is the goat. You're the goat. Your shit done got so potent and so like in people's face now to it's like they want to come back with you. It's like they see your determination, Scorpio. And now it's like the things that you, the goals that you set and the things that you've been determined to do, they see it coming into fruition. Okay, with the crows here, I'm hearing you're going to get a message, some kind of message about a move or about a job opportunity but something about an opportunity because of your determination because you kept going yeah malice see the malice that's the fuckery that's 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 that bullshit that's the that's the um you know that's the ops that's the people sent to get you off your path see what your overall energy is direction people trying to fuck up your direction now because they know that you finally realize what direction to go in as long as you was, you know, doing the fuck what they wanted you to do and going going in a direction they wanted you to go in, nobody had no fucking questions. Now everybody want to question Scorpio, why? How come you doing this now? Why you doing that now? Don't worry about it, it's my life. How about if you don't like it, get the fuck on. Because what I'm getting is this somebody who, you know, been controlling the narrative anyway. Too damn long. And not supporting you enough. This person's about to get ghosted. That's what's about to happen. The, the hermit on the split deck. The three of cups in reverse third party situation. Now this person want to question you. Okay. Let's get into it, Scorpio. So with the potency being here, Scorpio, it's like your aura has changed. It's not that people necessarily know your business or know what you're, what you're doing. But they, they notice that something about you has been illuminated. Something about you, you've discovered something. Self-discovery is what I just heard. You're realizing how powerful you are. And people around you and your energy don't like that. I keep saying loved ones. Because I keep hearing loved ones. So that doesn't necessarily have to be kin or family here. Let's see, the hair from on the bottom of the deck. It could be. Just your husband or baby daddy here. Why is potency here for a Scorpio? Now people want to collab with you. But it seems like, you know, when you were in the struggle, you couldn't get no collabs. Now people see the fruit of your labor and now everybody want to jump on board. And it's like, no, nah, I'm trying to get bitches off my ship now. That should have been gone. Yeah, the star. See, people, they already know. They already knew. The thing about, about us, Scorpio, is people get comfortable with us because we're loyal. They know you are ace in the hole. Or at least that's what they used to think. Now they know you're a fucking wild card. I ain't no ace in the fucking hole. You're the queen of cups in reverse. I ain't no ace in the motherfucking hole, like I said. I'm a star. Star seed, oracle. You're being sought out is what I just heard. People are looking for whatever it is you do. 
Nobody does it like you. I just heard that as well. You the goat. <laughs> and you, Scorpio, I feel like right now you you in a place where you really ain't feeling much. You know, you don't want to feel. You tired of feeling right now. You about your bag. And you're moving away from tumultuous shit and tumultuous people. And now they all, you know, it's like, it's like walk them all. I can't make this shit up. See, the problem is the people that are giving you your accolades now, Scorpio, are the people from your new, your new tribe, your new community. And what's happening is the people that are jealous of you and really want nothing but malice for you, they're getting the front row seat to God blessing you. And you remember what I told you. God said, don't you fucking weep about none of this shit when it come back. Because you the nine of pentacles. And you always been the nine of pentacles. But it was until you met this person or until you got affiliated with these group of people that they, made, they started making you think that you were less than what you were. So you stopped being determined. Hold on, guys. All right. <clears throat> the Ace of Wands. <laughs> it's a passionate new beginning, Scorpio. That's starting quick and it's going to end quicker. But it's only to move you forward. Because I feel like with the Queen of Cups... In the reverse, um, you know, you've been in some shit that just, it's, it, it, it wore you down. That, that Ace of Wands wanted to come out. It wore you down. This person tried to wear you down and this person used you. You could be seeing ravens outside your door. Blackbirds. It's messages from your ancestor. They want you to get the fuck from around this king of pentacles in reverse i feel like this person really don't have shit if they don't have you that's just what i'm getting but this person want to call the shots and treat you like shit and then on top of that cheat on you and you're like nah this is a soulless ass person if it wasn't you they was doing this to scorpio make no mistake about it they'd be doing it to somebody else why is the ace of wands here Get a page of pentacles. This person probably fathered a child with somebody else. With the king of swords showing up on the bottom of the deck. Why is the page of pentacles here? Or this could just be talking about how determined you've been since a child. Yeah, and then look, the knight of wands in reverse. It's like you lost your way. It's like you stop being excited about life. You stop functioning. You stop giving people things to accolade you about. All because of a fucking relationship. You know, my grandma always said a man will take you down quicker than anything in the drugstore. And it won't take long. And I feel like with the Knight of Wands in reverse, I feel like. You went in with star energy, star quality, <laughs> star money, star every fucking thing because you are a star. And then you left this shit feeling like the Knight of Wands in reverse, like not excited, not adventurous. Almost like somebody just killed your spirit just so you could pour into their life. Imagine that a fucking oracle pouring into a page of fucking pentacles and a king of pentacles in reverse. And you got the nerve to be out there cheating on somebody. And now you want to come in after you done put me in the Knight of Wands energy in reverse. And act like you saving my life. I don't feel shit for your ass. The Queen of Cups in reverse. Why is the Queen of Cups in reverse? That's what I want to know. As soon as I see it. Because Scorpio finna go show ass. Scorpio had enough. Enough is enough is enough. What's this? Yeah. See, the thing about it is, Scorpio is, Scorpio, <laughs> Scorpio, 
See this 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 is the part. This is where this where the work come in, cross watcher. For real. This this way this where the real work come in because you have to hold yourself accountable for what you continue to try to do to Scorpio and think you fucking slick. And then the thing about it is when your gig is up, then you want to talk shit about Scorpio and say they jealous, they this and they that, they that. But what you're not telling people is how Scorpio carried your ass. Yeah, you telling people about that one or two thing that you done, but you ain't telling them about all the shit Scorpio done for you. So this, this person you dealing with right now, Scorpio, they're a narcissist. They turning you off. You hate being in their company. You used to love to be in their company. Now all you want to do is stay the fuck away from them and celebrate with people, other people that you like, other kindred spirits. You're realizing this ain't your person. That's what the fuck going on. That's what the raven coming to let you know. That's what the message is, is about. <laughs> this ain't it. Why is malice here? That malice is just like the seven, seven of swords energy. Yeah, because that shit over with. You realize that ain't nothing really connecting y'all at all, Scorpio. The only thing that's connecting y'all is you, your money, your success. Yeah, the three of swords in reverse. You done. You done done. And the title card. Yeah, bitch got to go. If you living with if you living with them, if it's a situation where you they leaving or you leaving one or the other, they go to the title card right there. With the ten of swords and the three of swords in reverse. It's like. How dare you? Think you can sleep with somebody else and then still come and, and try to control my life? You got to be a fucking narcissist. Or like they trying to clean that shit up. You ain't going to give them a chance to clean it up. They're going to see you in a totally different scenario and situation. They're going to see you with your soul family. Yeah, look, because you're expanding. You're not just ghosting a bitch so you can go hide in a hole and cry and be, you know, you releasing that shit. You fell out of love with this person before you even left them. Because that third party situation, whatever whatever little feelings you had left, that third party situation, it, it obliterated that. You don't feel nothing for this person. Now all you looking for is your expansion. Getting back on track. Getting your life back. Getting back happy. They're going to start twice. I can't make the shit up. God said you ain't lost shit. You only just begun. That was a, a, a pit stop. That was that was God trying to get a blessing to whoever this person was, and instead of them, you know, reacting the way they should have reacted, like like it was a star, they didn't treat you like you were star quality. They treated you like you were someone in the bottom of their shoe while they poured their cup somewhere else. Scorpio, that's what the fuck going on here. Yeah, the King of Wands in reverse. The Hangman. So Scorpio, what what what's happening? And this is happening quick. It's almost it almost feels like day and night to me. The Queen of Wands is showing up upright. This is the person they fucking with. I feel like this Queen of Wands don't know about you though. I feel like he playing games. This this person is a Seven of Swords energy, and they like to change the direction of women to make them do what they want them to do. This person knows that if you're spiritual, they got to take you off your spiritual path because if you believe in God, then you won't believe in them. This person has a God complex. Some women like that. I feel like the Queen of Wands, she likes the God complex. <laughs> you, on the other hand, you can't sleep. The shit make your head hurt and you sick of it and you got to get the fuck on. And that's how I feel. Like you change your perspective. There you go right there. I can't make it up. Scorpio, the chariot always waiting on you. God say he's always waiting on you. God always sending you a, a spiritual Uber. Why is the hangman here? Now somebody want to change their mind about you. <laughs> now that they see your glow up, they see people, you know, your views could be going up or or your your subs or Whatever, whatever you got going on in your life that make them think that you're doing good or that you've arrived, that's going on right now. Now they want to come and say, yeah, you know, Scorpio, they, they, you know, when they was with me, 
I helped them start that business. Um, yeah, I, I, I helped them kickstart. Here this motherfucker is in the midst of them trying to act like they giving you your accolades with everybody else. They trying to shoot their shot. They trying to generate an opportunity out of your accolades and success. Just from being attached to you ago, long time ago. Ago. Crazy. Clout chasing. Yeah, the eight of swords. Now this bitch in a delusional state because they think you're going to come back. This person think you coming back, Scorpio. They think you just been in the corner. They think you just, you know, doing what you normally do, going to cool off. No, nah, bitch. I'm not cooling off. The seven of wands, what I'm going to do is now let you know since you heard from people who really recognize my talent, my gift, my loyalty, my substance, and you got a chance to witness that, now you trying to, you trying to capitalize on that too? I feel like enough is enough, Scorpio. Yeah, the seven of cup. This person delusional. This person could even be mentally ill. They need to talk to somebody. The strength card. They they underestimated you, Scorpio. They thought because you took a back seat that you were relinquishing your power, that, that you were giving them control over you. They thought they was going to burden you down and then leave you alone. But the, the, the coin got flipped. It's like you're not in this Ten of Wands energy with nobody. If I'm going to be in a Ten of Wands energy, it's going to be hard work is paying off for me. Not my hard work that ain't paying off. Because see, the Ten of Wands is a burden. The Ten of Wands mean you actively doing something that's not helping you at all. It could be helping the company. It could be helping the person you pouring into, but it's not helping you at all. And as a matter of fact, it's depleting you. But even through all that, they underestimated your strength. They underestimated your determination, your persistence, your relationship with God. What is the outcome here for Scorpio? What's the advice? The Queen of Swords in reverse. I feel like all the Queens coming out in reverse, I just feel like you know, this person, they told they ass with you. That's what that's what that means. You don't have no feelings about them. You ain't thinking about them. There you go. Ever since you left and found your truth and got back into your star quality mode, Scorpio, doing you, you don't even think about this person. They still trying to think of ways that they can compromise you and come back. And I want to see them do it. The Ten of Pentacles. Your money looking good, Scorpio. Every your cause it never when was your money not looking good? They go to Ace of Wands twice. Nothing but opportunities happening. This Queen of Wands, the Sagittarius, Aries, a Leo, that your uh ex-husband or husband, soon to be ex-husband or boyfriend is missing, is with. This this woman, she loves his vibe. She like how he, you know, she don't want him full time. But she don't know about you. She don't care to know. In other words, if she don't know, you know, that she's sleeping with somebody's husband, she, I guess she feel like she ain't sinning. Like, where the fuck are you from? Buck tussle some damn well? That, that's, that's not how that works. You are a priestess. You got the um, hey man twice. Like a lot of changes. A lot of things about perception have changed for you. Your overall energy is the three of cups. <clears throat> I feel like too a lot of people are changing their mind about you too Scorpio. But it's too late. And with that nine of swords energy being, being right there by that hey man. It's like it's fucking with people that you leveling up. They can't sleep at night. They want what you got, but they don't want to do what you did to get it. That's what I heard. You're a high priestess. You know what's going on. What are the messages? Yeah. 
recovery. See, that's what I'm saying. Like, you leave this situation, but in your recovery, your recovery game so strong that in your recovery, you, you end up back on top. You end up even better than you were before you dropped out of it. And it's saying within a few months. Within a few months of you leaving this situation, you're going to be stronger than ever. Your recovery. God said he's restoring you right now. In the near future. I can't make this shit up. Everybody held your shit up. Stagnant. Stagnated it. God said no. No more. God told the heavens to release it. He communicated it clearly. To the ethers. I don't know why they playing with you Scorpio. They can't kill you. They can't stop you. Only thing they can do is slow you down. And they not slowing you down. You slowing you down. Because you know the answer was no. You just did what you wanted to do. And that's why you experienced this loss. But this was a good loss. Because these people. I just heard something about a group of people as well. So this person probably been. This probably. this Your person is sleeping with more than one person. Is what I just heard. But not really sleeping with you much. Yeah emotions. It says your emotions are affecting your finances. Absolutely. This whole connection affected your finances, your career, your business, whatever this is. It says earn money doing something that you love or a dream job might be offered to you. Yeah, that's what I feel like you was doing before you met this bitch. And I feel like you were happy and you were content. So whatever it was you was doing, it was flourishing, it was flowing. And then you get with this person and they beat you down spiritually. Yeah, see? As soon as you got with this person, your whole life became unclear. Like, when you met this person, you was on your purpose path. Everything was clear. Now it says, money is either tight or not receiving what you expected. The answers you are seeking will remain unclear for now. Your basic needs will be met. See what I'm saying? Recovery. And then there's that leadership. There's you, you know, taking those extra steps to dig your way out of this shit. It says it's time to step it up into the leadership role in your own life. You can expect to, dis to succeed in any leadership position. Your finances will greatly improve once you accept and step into your power. Yeah. See, basically what that's saying is stop giving your shit away, Scorpio. The more resources you have, the more books you read, the more you en en enrich yourself, that's where the quality comes in. That Not you trying to do that to somebody else to make it comfortable in the connection with y'all. Hell no. Motivator. It says there is a skill you possess that needs to be shared with the world. Consider a career in coaching, speaking, lobbying, activism, or monitor, or mentoring. Yeah, but mentor yourself. Planner. I'm here and plan it. Go for it. Pay attention to detail is what I just heard. Partnership. The partnership is coming, but it's going to be the right partnerships. In business and in love is what I'm hearing. Yeah. And unrealistic is here. Have realistic goals, Scorpio. Set realistic goals for yourself. Like I said, you're recovering. Your basic needs are going to be met. But with legal on the bottom of the deck, it's certain things that you're going to have to work out due to, you know, how you moved in this situation. This legal overall energy, too, it, it could be the, the divorce because a definite breakup is here. OK, and I just feel like from this point forward, energetically saying, you know, that your expectations in the future they need to be revised is what I'm hearing. Okay, it's something about your plans that's not, they need to be just updated. Perhaps your, your, your vision is too big and, you know, it may require a bit, a bit of a, more planning here. And need more careful thought, see. Because, see, you could be setting yourself up for failure if you don't set realistic goals, Scorpio. Rome wasn't built in a day, so don't try to build, don't try to build you up in a day. 
Just gradually do what you need to do to, to keep improving. God is there. Communicate clearly. That's what God is doing. All right, Scorpio, if you're still with me, like, subscribe, join, let those ads play for at least a minute so your girl can get all the credit from YouTube. I love you guys, and I'll see you in the next video.